Hi pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Anton of Two as usual and today really I wanted to review the Object 430 version 2 on the patch 8.10 test server. However, something's wrong with the test server. Maybe it's down for maintenance work or something. I'm not entirely sure, but somehow I can't access it. Please tell me in the comments if any of you guys have got the same problems. Maybe it's just a um, maintenance that I uh, didn't realize was happening. But anyway, the deal is that I can't get onto the test server, and instead I'll be bringing you two games with my AMX 50 Fosh, which uh, most of you probably know is one of my favorite tanks in the game at the moment and I have just yesterday unlocked the AMX 50 Fosh 155 the tier 10 tank in this line which has got this mighty free uh, shot autoloader clip which can basically nearly clip any tank in the game uh, it puts out 850 damage per shot so I really like that tank and I have sold this tank yesterday to be able to buy the Fosh 155 um, kind of regretting it now because I really like this tank but you know uh, couldn't be helped so yeah in memory of my great times that I had with this tank here are some games up two basically so we get one cheeky shot into that Lorraine um, one of our teammates also puts one in leaving him on only 349 health this gun is really nice because it's got that good reload time and quick aiming time that gives you added flexibility now you see I wasn't going for the killing shot on the Lorraine, but on for the shot on the E50 to reduce the cap progress of those enemies. Now I'm going to go for the uh, kill on the Lorraine. Next, I'll probably shoot at the Leopard Prototype A in order to reduce the cap even further. Now I'm going to finish off the E50. Uh, fair enough. Um, yeah, that was probably the right thing to do as the E50 wasn't very low health and he's got a very dangerous gun. Next they're going to reset the cap by hitting the leopard. And here you can see my frontal armor doing its job, basically bouncing shots like a boss. And I'm just farming defense points here. And I finish off the prototype securing my third kill and this really showcases the amazing DPM and reload time of this gun which just gives it that little bit more flexibility over other tier 9 tanks um, yeah this tank's just if this tank had a turret I would just like be all over the place of excitement about this vehicle as a tank destroyer it's a really good machine but it's uh, well the only thing that I don't like about this vehicle is the reduced alpha damage it gets the I think the worst alpha damage of any tier 9 tank destroyer with only 400 and I get a shot in on the Yak Tiger however the enemy prototype A gets a shot into me leaving me on very low health so I have to play a bit more defensively now as uh, one shot could basically kill me and often people load heat ammo to just kill you know um, the attack on very very low health just to make sure that the shot penetrates if you've got a lot of armor and um, I would like to finish off that tier 9 American medium however if I do that I'll expose myself to the guns of that TD and the IS-3 so I will probably next loop yeah I'm looping around now to get the killing blow on that IS-3 as he's on low health and see oh they're not looking my way and hello mister oh that's what a shame what a shame okay but the yak tigers fired that means i've got all time i can't what rng i i can't believe it i can't okay the yak tigers fired again that means i've got enough time to poke out and secure my fourth kill Strictly speaking, that should have been my fifth, but I don't. My shot on the IS-3, that was just so unlucky. But I guess it was a bit of skill involved, too. I should have aimed more carefully. I had the time in that situation. So, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the game, and that's quickly check out the after-game stats of that one. So, we got 53,398 credits and 1,780 experience out of that game. Also, we picked up a Langlades medal. So, yeah, basically we destroyed four enemies while they were capping. Uh, also, we got a steel wall and a defender medal, so that's pretty nice. 
uh, we dealt off the second most damage um uh, with the m103 having quite a bit of lead on us however we got the most experience for getting all those defense points if we quickly check out the detailed report we can see we fired 14 shots of which 12 hit and all 12 penetrated remember that this was a nearly entirely tier 9 game so that's a really really good rate um we dealt out nearly 4,000 damage received 16 hits of which only eight penetrated uh, and eight didn't we received 5,440 potential damage, detected one enemy, damaged seven, destroyed four, all four of these were in the cap circle, and um, we got 200 assistance damage as well, which is nice. So, uh, yeah, that's all for this game, and I've got a second one coming up just right now, so stay tuned and we'll have a look how this tank performs on Ensk. So, as I already said, we're here on Ensk. I am, of course, in my Fosh again. And usually, you would want to take your tank destroyers over to the right side of the map, to the railway tracks, or even out on the field to do some sniping. However, in the Fosh, I really like to go into the city in Ensk, because uh, in street combat, this tank actually really excels, because uh, it's very easy to prevent flanking, in this kind of environment and that's why uh, this tank with its good frontal armor but bad side and rear armor does pretty well now I straight away run, run into quite a lot of trouble out here on the left side uh, that was a really lucky shot on the M103 sniping his hatch more or less clutch there so three of the enemy team's 49 tanks are spotted over here so I decide in a second after putting one last line shot in on the M103's last known location um, to avoid uh, a head on engagement with those tier 9 vehicles there and rather go to these uh, blocks of houses here and try to flank round and then later engage them from the rear sides because, well, I'm just I just don't really want to face off against all their guns basically. So Right here we can see we've got piles of juicy tier 7 and 8 targets to chew up. And um, as nearly the entire enemy's forces are concentrated on the left flank, it's very easy for us to really push forward here and I straight away secure my first kill. Uh, what I failed to mention earlier was that this game here was the very last game I ever played in my Fosh probably. Uh, this is the last game I played before I sold it. At some point, I'm probably going to rebuy it, but this is going to be the last game I'm going to play in this tank for quite a while. I put a next good shot in on the VK3002D. His gun basically doesn't stand a chance to penetrate me. It's only got 130mm of penetration. And I'm really messing up that T32's day right now. And ah, uh, we can't get a second shot in. However, we can make it happen against the VK 3002D. He's now trying to flank us. However, I've got quite a good repair crew on this tank. I turn round and I dunk my shot. That really was necessary. I ram him because I weigh 60 tons, which is quite a lot. However, he's still alive, so I have to quickly take him out now. And there we go, our second kill. And now the STI and the. Um, the IS-8 have decided to come round and help out here so we have to quickly take them down however these wrecks are kind of blocking my way here I donk a third uh, a second shell here how well that happens a lot to me in the frost because I like to fire really clutch in this vehicle uh, that shot should have really tracked that IS-3 I didn't aim very carefully but I it looked like it went in his front drive wheel however it obviously didn't track him, so that's a shame. And now I can't really manoeuvre around this corner very effectively without taking a shot from the IS-3 and the IS-8, and also from the STI, probably. So I really don't want to go out here, because if I turn on the STI, I'm going to get shot by the IS-8. If I turn on the IS-8, I'm going to get shot by the STI. However, I just take the risk, and you can see here the STI will get one shot into me, but I've got the HP pull to take it. I get my fourth kill, and... I own I can't believe it. I only Oh, I so would have wanted to get the kill on that guy and come but we still can make it happen. Secure the fifth kill and now I'm really close to getting a top gun. M103 on very low health, but he gets taken out early. So I'll have to take out that object 704. And 
let's see. Aim and yes, there we go. Reload quickly. And basically now I'm waiting for somebody from my team to take it down on solo health that I can kill him to get the top gun. Which was a bit cheeky of me, but you know, I want the top gun. So there we go, I've got the top gun secured. And now I'm basically really out of position to still achieve anything in this game. Although I've got that good speed. These medium tanks, like for example the T-43 or the Type 59, are just going to be way ahead of me. And that, v uh, that KV-5 is on really low health, so basically I don't stand a chance of still getting him. However, still I'm going to try. I know that the KV-5 in a straight line can be a fairly speedy tank. That's, and I saw him last heading down south in the direction of our base. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to loop round and try to uh, get at him from the other side. You can see he's rushing down there. Uh, however, there's a WZ-120 in front of me and also an SU-152. So my chances are fairly slim. Oh, this might still work even. Oh, this is looking... Okay, let's see. We could still get our seventh kill maybe. But there's a house in the way. Oh no. Come on. I don't want to out position here because... Oh, ye and... Can we get him? I fire and I bounce. Such a shame. I, that shot should have really went in. I can't understand why it bounced because I've got 258 millimeters of penetration, I think. So that was a real shame. I nearly got seven kills, but you know, I'm more than happy with six. And I hope you enjoyed the games. I'm just going to quickly check out the post game stats of you guys, and then that was more or less it for today. So we managed to get 56,337 credits and over 1.8k experience in that game as well as the top gun obviously. If we look at the team scores we can see we dealt out the most damage by far and also got the most experience with a fair lead on the second best who was the Yak Tiger 8.8. Uh, if we look at the detailed report, we can see we fired 18 shots of which only 15 hit. That's because we fired quite a few shots clutch and 14 of these 15 shots penetrated. We managed to deal out 4,100 damage, received 10 hits of which only 4 penetrated and 6 ricochets, um, 2,600 potential damage and we detected 2 enemies, damage 8, destroyed 6 obviously and we also got 470 assistance damage. So I hope that was a really nice game for you guys to watch. Uh, I really liked the fact that my last game on the Fosh before I sell it was so good and uh, it really left that this tank really left a good memory in my mind so I can not recommend this tank enough it's really really good and this is probably going to be the last Fosh game for a long time that you're going to see on my channel however I've got loads of Fosh 155 content coming up the tank is so amazing and I'm really sorry that I couldn't bring you the footage of the object 430 version 2 today but something's wrong with the test server I don't know please let me know if you know what's happening and um, yeah I hope you I hope I'll see you tomorrow in the video coming up then and as usual thanks for watching and bye bye